Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, our Lord God and Savior. I still get the old, like, why are you so judgmental? And those people that say that don't realize that they're judging me. So right away they're being a hypocrite. A lot of people just don't understand. They don't want to accept that the world works in a certain way. And if, if you know their name, they're in the game. That's a saying, right? Like, people don't get famous unless they sell out. And let's just say a broad category like country singers because that, that's a category I don't cover so much because I can't find some of the signs, symbols, and agendas with country singers. I, I have found some, so it's, it's not off limits or anything, obviously, but... Right? If people are searching for their favorite celebrity or singer, or actor, whatever, they may stumble upon one of my videos and go, why are you so judgmental? You're reaching, that kind of thing. And I'm going to use this verse in a minute from Matthew 7. People can say anything they want. If someone has a song and talks about God, that must mean they're a Christian, right? That's not the way it works. People can say anything they want. People can lie. A lot of people do. Just because someone says, like, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, etc., etc., they claim to be Christians, and they are clearly not Christians. They don't follow the ways of God. I'm sure they don't read the scriptures much. And, like, again, why are you being so judgmental? It's called discernment. And anyone that says, why are you being judgmental? That is judgment right there against me. And everyone uses judgment. It's part of life. We need to use discernment and judgment in life for things. Not everything is just fine. Once more, people can say anything. Say they write a song and have God in it. And in, in a lot of cases, they, they'll even have Jesus in the song. That doesn't mean they're a Christian. We know them by their fruit. In Matthew 7, 21 through 23, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess, profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity." Right, um, there's, there's a whole demon slayer movement on YouTube, right? Isaiah Saldivar, Alexander Pagani, all like th those, those people, I, I believe they're lying a lot of the time. I'm not saying that they don't know the Bible because, you know, I've liked Isaiah Saldivar in the past. I, I think he's like, okay, but he's clearly doing something wrong by saying he needs to cast demons out of born again Christians. As Christians, should we not know that? The Holy Spirit is more powerful than demons, and a Christian is born again with the Holy Spirit in them, and these kingdoms cannot stand together, so you either have the Holy Spirit of God, or you're unsaved and you can be demon-possessed or demon-suppressed or whatever. I'm not an expert on demons. They're obviously real, and I think I've dealt with people in this life that definitely have them. A lot of people admit to having them. Once more, celebrities like Beyonce, who's a Christian, talks about having this spirit come in her so she could perform better and whatever, right? They're channeling a demon. And if they call it a spirit or something else, it's a demon. So not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Let's look at Bishop, quote unquote, who gives them these titles? Some of the worst ones are the apostles, right? Again, Demon Slayer movement, they, they all seem to be apostles. Greg Locke, Al Alexander Pagani, and just wait, Isaiah Saldivar, I have a feeling he's going to become Apostle Isaiah pretty soon, right? Carlton Pearson is a bishop. Who gave him that title? Did he give himself that title? Did some other mere sinner give him that title? Because, I don't know, I I'm not going to call him bishop. He obviously wants some fame, fortune, and success because he's on like whatever show, like Ka that's Kathy Lee Gifford, whatever show she's on. I, I don't know. I don't follow that, but she's obviously a famous person 
Christians and Hollywood do not match. They do not go together. Right? He's got uh, Come Sunday. I don't know if it's a movie or a documentary or something like that. But it's, it's promoted in Times Square, right? So he's made it big time. He throws up the sign of success, which in this world, it's not A-OK, it's actually 666, and Christians should know this about the quote-unquote Illuminati. Never mind the Illuminati, it's Freemasons that worship Lucifer, the light bearer, and that is Satan. And they throw up the sign, symbols, and agendas that are Antichrist. I don't know about you guys, but when I hear the verse, or when I hear, see the words expanded consciousness with Carlton Pearson consciousness itself like we we obviously have a conscience and we're con we have a consciousness that was hard to say sorry i was in the new age it talks about expanding your consciousness all the time and i'll show you something else about carlton pearson here that goes right along with it so when a when a supposed man of god that right he's held in a high like he's supposed to be a teacher and a quote-unquote bishop Expanded consciousness, American heretics, the politics of the go the gospel. It's a documentary. It's a little hard to see because it's kind of dark, but he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, the classic version, pressing it to his index fingers to his lips, other fingers interlocked, right? Expanded consciousness. And what else does he do? Very clearly doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. I honestly believe, brothers and sisters, and I'm sure some of you or most of you agree with me, doing this gesture contradicts having salvation, contradicts having a relationship with God. This is the most puffed up, prideful gesture there is. I don't think there's going to be another one. We're living in the last days, and we're finding out that expanding your consciousness, which sounds so New Age and not Christian at all, and doing this, the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, index fingers together, pressed against his lips, other fingers interlocked. I literally show this every day. The other day I made a video about Jay Dyer, who I don't care for. He seems smug and prideful because he does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra as well. There will be people that defend him or other people or even like Carlton here, Bishop, quote unquote. For the people that can't see this gesture and don't research about it, you're, you're, you're in the dark. You're not understanding what I'm showing you. I'm showing you something that contradicts having a relationship with Jesus because it's prideful. It's self-centered. It is, it, again, it's just prideful. It's, it's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment, right? Expanding consciousness. It's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer. This gesture goes along with Freemasonry, and I think most of us in the truth community have figured out the Freemasons are not on our side, right? They, they, have, they take part in all the agendas. People that are clearly Satanists, like that devil driver guy I showed the other day, and people like Marilyn Manson, they have Freemasonry garb on them, whether it's a necklace or a cell phone case, etc. And they do the signs and symbols that I show every day. Some quote-unquote Christians do these signs as well, like Bishop Carlton Pearson here. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, Lord, what are you talking about? I was, to I was totally a Christian the whole time and not doing secret occult esoteric gestures. Come on, there is no fooling God. God knows our thoughts before we think them. God is so high and powerful. He's so holy and righteous. There is no fooling God. God knows deception better than anyone, right? The creator of everything, right? Come on, people. Bishop Carlton Pearson expanding his consciousness, right? And you can... Pro I'm sure he charges nothing for this, right? He... <laughs> That's the thing. Like these people want fame, fortune, and success. And I don't, the average Christian hopefully says, you know, if that happens, I'll, I'll deal with it. It might be nice and it's kind of attracting and so, attractive in some ways, but that shouldn't be our goal. Our goal should be giving glory to God and spreading the gospel and trying to be good and faithful servants the best we can, living in a sinful, fallen world that hates Jesus Christ. I don't know this man's heart. God does. God knows his salvation. God knows everything about Carlton Pearson. But as one Christian to another bunch of Christians, my, my dear brothers and sisters, this is deception. This gesture 
is prideful and antichrist and involved in Freemasonry, I would wager, uh, I'm not going to wager, but you know what I mean. It's a saying that I just use there. You think he's a Freemason? Because I think he's probably a Freemason. And is he going to talk about that? Probably not, right? They do the vow of silence for a reason, right? They don't want you knowing that Lucifer is the god of Freemasonry. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, thank you for watching. God bless you.